Alright, you see, Josuke was just chilling on the block with his turtle. Huh? And for some reason, this gang trying to press him. I think it's because they're seniors and he's a freshman. Hey, most seniors I knew in high school went after freshmen girls, not boys, but you know, whatever. Alright, anyways, they snatched this man's turtle. He's gripping it like ash with a Pokeball. He's gripping it like me when I see a kid with cancer and a shiny bald head, alright? He's gripping that thing. Then after that, he smacked, bro. He smacked them. That's really messed up. Did you know as of 2024, many turtle species are facing possible extinction? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I telling you this? I don't even care. Anyways, they tell bro he needs to hand over all his drip and that his haircut is trash. As a man, there's only one person you must respect and never cheat on. Your barber. Allowing your barber's masterpiece to be slandered in your face? Unacceptable. So bro powered up, summoned this big nigga, and cracked bro into his homies. Then stomped on his head. He really reverse jumped his ops. Because you see Josuke, yeah, he be running the hood, bruh. Josuke runs this hood. Josuke seen a Discord mod holding a girl hostage, typical, and said, nah, I have to handle this, not in my hood. So bro walks up and punched a hole through both of them. Fire this man. No, he cannot be Batman, bro. You're not supposed to decimate the victim. But at the same time, he healed them both. And when he healed, bro, he repaired them with a knife inside his stomach. It probably feels like he ate Taco Bell leftovers, drank a Diet Coke with some Mentos, bro. His stomach finna explode. He's done for. And this one time, Jotaro and Josuke were patrolling the hood and found an op. Bro tried to skedaddle and they pushed him down. This is a sting okay. operation and I'm not a child predator. I've never done anything like this okay. before. Okay. Calm down. Look, I'm been... not a cop. I'm not a cop. He punched this man and fused him with a rock, bro. That's crazy. Oh, yes, bro. He looks like Diglett. Angelo's Rock. A popular town landmark that's well known for being a hot spot for romantic rendezvous. For years, it's charmed the residents of Morio, despite its disturbing appearance. Can it get any worse for this man? He has to watch couples going crazy on him, knowing he can't even ask, Can I get a turn? No, bro, you a rock. I've heard of spinning on the ops, touching the ops inappropriately, cuddling with the ops, but I've never heard of turning the ops into a historical landmark, bro. Yeah. Just for being annoying, bro combed his hair out, turned around, broke him into pieces, then rebuilt him again like a Lego set. Come on! How much worse can your life be? Yo, Angelo. Uh, hey, has this rock always been here? Yeah, but it's been given a facelift. Facelift? Hmm. Well, what do you know? Yo, Angelo. A facelift? <laughs> Are you making homosexual remarks towards the odds? Are you implying that you put your pickle in the face of Angelo in that current moment, Josuke Hagashkata? I'm on to you. That's dirty. Ew. Josuke was chilling at the dock with his homie, and an enemy can better than pulled up out of nowhere. He even got his own cutscene, talking about his dreams and aspirations of being a famous guitarist, and Josuke was NOT trying to hear that. He destroyed this man's fingers, he will never play guitar again. It's over for this man, bro. He finna be sounding like you know Miles. All I need is six hot wings, and don't you dare forget the calamari. No Justin Bieber, but I'm sorry. Bro snitches on him, gets his stand violated, then celebrates on him with a slideshow. I commend this D1 hating, honestly. Someone get him an offer to Haters University because that was insane hating. They started boxing, and after the enemy can better than powers up, he started hitting his combos, even hit the down slam, punching Josuke into a car. But unfortunately, that was a big mistake. He sealed bro into a tire, then sent him into the ocean. And if you don't know, salt water conducts electricity, sending it in every direction, so bro straight up dissolved and died. Which also means the stand user died. Bro was 19. We never got to see his full potential. He could have been the next famous artist. He could have been the next Joey. Have y'all ever heard Joey? In the jungles of Portugal, I first met the Taliban. They told me they were fans and they made me smoke the Delta 8. What are three things hood dudes like? Illegal weaponry, the rackables, and designer shoes. I gotta work on my spending habits. That 20,000 yen was for those dope designer shoes I wanted. Now this is only a theory, but apparently Josuke wanted the bread for us, okay? Getting some drip I see, you really gonna be stepping out on these, alright? But not only that, this man don't play about his bread, because this stand stole a singular scent from this man, and he chased him down every single block. One thing you can never do as a grown man is let someone play with your money, bro. Me personally, 
I'm gonna have to murder this Stan, then dig his body up and beat his skull in, but that's just me personally. But it turns out, there's actually a lot of them. And they was flexing with Josuke's money, bro. He couldn't believe it. Cause how you finna flex with my money? At least steal some dollars, bro. Y'all flexing with some change? Now that's crazy. Now the Stan user pops out, and bro is ugly as hell. You can tell it was his destiny to be a Stan user, bro looking strange, alright? Looks like he's cosplaying a Pteranodon, bro. He actually looks weird. So they pimped this man out and made his stand earn them some bread. Josuke turned a retard into the method. This man's the freest lick, the biggest come up possible. You finna get rich talking to this man. What should I buy first? I know, I'll get some sick Italian shoes. Then I'll buy a new designer suit that compliments my sexy physique. He really got them Italian sneakers and started flying when he put them on, bro. This man started flying with Italian sneakers. Honestly, shout out to Italian people, bro. I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have pizza and like, you know, uh, like, what else did I invent? Like, I don't know, Mario, bro. He Italian, right? That's lit. I used to be cracked at Mario Bros, you know what I'm saying? I was getting full boxes, down slams in Mario Bros. I was kind of crazy. You can tell, Josuke is a smart man from the hood because he be gambling. Everyone knows, 99% of gamblers quit before they hit their big win, bro. All right? Don't be a quitter. You put yourself in debt, that's okay. Gamble your way out. That's what you always should do, right? You win a billion dollars, you go bet a billion dollars, and you make two billion dollars, bro. It's smart investing. Josuke was speeding on a motorcycle and got caught the red light. Even though he seen a baby in the street, he said, nah, I'm not stopping. Matter of fact, I'm going to speed up with the whole two lives on the line, bro. This man destroyed his motorcycle, hopped over the carriage, allegedly slapped the baby in the face off screen, and then rebuilt the motorcycle and just did, bro. This show really deserves a bizarre adventure, all right? Because what is even happening? How did the writer possibly think of this as a plot point? He kept on speeding while this dude right here was on the phone, discussing a billion dollar company deal and boom! Josuke took his phone, then realized it's Android, and broke it because Android sucks. I don't even care bro. Y'all gotta explain them graphics, they're insane. I took a picture with my Mexican homie, this is what we got bro. We got transported into the Roblox Dimension Multiverse because their cameras are that bad. Android cameras can pretty much give you eye cancer at the faintest of looks. So you're best off closing your eyes and trying to forget. You're probably wondering, where was bro trying to go? Why was he speeding and putting innocent lives in danger? He was speeding to the hospital, not to see his sick family, but to beat up one of his ops bro. He's already in the hospital. Dude probably has PP cancer and you finna pull up on him? He went to this man's room and unplugged all his medical equipment right there in his face. I used to look up to you, man. How could you do this? How could you do this, bro? He really punched this man butt booty naked through a building and he did like three triple axle backflips into a pond. And lastly, the best villain in the anime, Yoshi Kagekira, full box Josuke with the bomb that follows him everywhere he goes. So Josuke said, hmm, hold on, wait a minute. How does this thing know my exact location? And he found out his dad was spying on them, giving Yoshi Kakakira the ops location. So he snatched bro's phone and bamboozled Kira, giving him fake locations, so bro blew up his own father. Yo, that's crazy, cuz. Alright, subscribe to my channel, bro. I had to watch part four for this, alright? Just subscribe, I'm so tired. Please just subscribe, bro. Please, bro. Match, please, bro. Please, bro.